One of the first thing I asked him is, how good do you think Peach is right now? He gave me top 10, like, no, like, batted eyes, no, like, uh, hesitation, no anything. He thinks the character's really good now. There's a lot of factors that help, you know, attributes to that. She d ignores the short hop uh, nerf on the damage if she goes into the float. Mm -hmm. She gets full damage off of that, so that alone is already, like, a damage buffer. So float cancels are going to be super on point. And we already know uh, Samsora is back on in Smash where he was a very movement-heavy player. Like, his oh, movement yeah. was always on point. And I always said, if you wanted to learn how to move around people and still be effective, watch him. He, he knew how to do it better than anyone. And he just translates over so well here. And you're going to see it in the set against Nick C. Game 1, PS2. My favorite stage in the whole series. I'm glad we get to play on it again. Oh, man. Oh, oh no! Samsora went too deep! I mean... Uh... Just, you, you hate to see that missed input, especially when Sam Sora had such a commanding lead there. Now it's just kind of, you cannot give an inch to Nick because he's going to try to take it all the way. Yeah, but luckily for him, he did that 116 before he SD with no problem whatsoever. Mm. And because he got that big lead, he was able to come back, take the stock, and now we are back at a dead even gamma here. Two stocks apiece. Now, a lot of players have been talking about how Sam Sora is supposed to be like the next uh, big player for this game because his character's been buck. A, a lot of top players have been kind of afraid of his playstyle. We're definitely seeing that come to life because Nixie has barely touched him. Even though there's been a stock already. Yeah, even though the stocks are even, Sam Sora's probably taking like, what, 30% the whole game? Like, it, yeah. it just speaks to how much he's winning as opposed to Nixie so far in this game. And it looks like the trend is going to continue unless Nixie can turn it up right about now. Yeah, he, he's being incredibly evasive as Nixie's just desperately trying to find this opening, but once he finds the opening, he can't seem to get a confirm off of it. Yeah, he got finally got that uh, that Nair 1. The, the new falling up here for Falcon, yeah. basically. He gets a lot of confirms off of it, and he finally got his opening, but I feel like he was so shocked that he actually got it that he wasn't really in position to actually, you know, follow through with it. Yeah, like that first hit of neutral air is so good for Captain Falcon, but if you can't land it, I mean, Sam Sword is definitely on alert. He knows about the move. He's trying to avoid as much as possible. Every single time he's knocking down Nixie off stage, there's a turn up coming his way. Dash attack, can't get a follow up afterwards. All right, Float Bear just gonna get Nixie off stage. And the weird trade between the turn up and the up air, they're gonna send him both back to center stage. A bomb! No! Bomb. Do, do, do it! Oh, no, he's he dropped it! Come on! Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. That's so deep. Like, he was just trying to get back to stage! <laughs> I see you, Sam Sora. The true yeah. mark of the a, RNG card. The true mark of a peach man. I'll pull whatever item I want whenever I want. Like, he's going to get a this game, too. I'm just going to call it out right Literally now. Literally the first game he plays on oh stream. God. We got the bomb coming out. But and here we go. Let's see if Nixie can try to bring this back. Got okay, there we go. There we go. Back, back air. Good cross up. Nixie's still in this, even though he's sitting at 80%. That's not, oh. too, that's not too much damage. That was great DI from Sam Sora trying to avoid the knee follow up. He had a DI away from the combo. When you're at low percent, you usually just want to DI away. All right, Nixie trying to find an opening right here, but Sam Sora not giving him anything. That jab breaks up the grab. Nixie needed that to get some damage in. Now he's got to start all over again from square one. It looks like he finally did it. Okay, his movement's trying to go into turning some walks. Down air is also a move that Nixie's going to be on the lookout for. Definitely a great combo starter for himself. Manages to catch through like spot dodges and rolls. Sam Sword is just doing a fantastic job of just walling Nixie out. It feels like he's been on the left or right ledge basically the entire game. Not a whole lot of time spent at center. Not a whole lot of damage off the straight conversion. He's only got one clean stock the whole yep. game, despite how even it might look right now. Sam Sword has been in complete control. And Nick has really not gone for any grabs whatsoever because Sam's staying airborne so much. And he's got him off stage, disadvantaged state. He got the right read, but still oh, got the grab. Man. The float cancel and then lands with the grab. Nixie just stuck in that shield, didn't know what was going on. And that bear, oh, the fake news, not going to kill yes. just yet. It looked like it was going to be the final hit, but you probably have a little more life in you. Make something happen. And he's saying 165% off stage, just trying to find his way back down to home base. Another crown. And that's finally going to do it. Yo, how, how heavy is that crown, you think? Pure gold. Pure AU. 24 karat? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's probably like... 50, 60 pounds, and she's just flicking it around with her wrist. He's strong. Very strong move, man. I mean, I mean, Sam Sora doing a fantastic job of just backing up with those four airs every single time, spacing it out perfectly, because you know Nixie's waiting for Sam Sora to push a button, to like do something, and he's not really giving it to him. The and entire, the entirety of Sam Sora's gameplay is the whiff punish. Yes. He uses his movement, he puts you in a false insecurity. I can throw out this button. I can probably get my safe poke in right here. And as soon as you throw out that button, he's right there, right out of range, ready to punish. All right, here we go. Jumping into game number two. Looks like we're going to go into a Pokemon Stadium 2 right back there. Look at these little layouts, by the way. We got those stages being fan. That's so slick. I like that. Everything happening right here is beautiful. Mwah. Oh, my God. Here we go. Peach versus Gathering Falcon again. Back to PS2. Let's see if Nixie can try to make something happen or if Sam is going to make this with a clean sweep. And the biggest problem for Nixie, I think we would both agree, is that he just could not get any solid hits. Like, he was getting, like, hits here and there, but nothing really, like, 
definitive. He wasn't getting any big strings of damage like Samsora was. Right. He wasn't holding stage control like Samsora was. So if he can find a way to like adjust something in his game plan that help that lets him hold the center stage, lets him get a little more damage, that was a smart recovery. Yeah, Nixie that was super had slick. to go off stage like that because he was gonna either try to catch Samsora or get away from it and go, you know use his DI to get back onto the stage. There we go. He's the up B. All right, Nixie back on the stage now. But 112, the Samsora is 40. Stitch, yes, yeah, see? Oh, game delayed, but he got it. Stitch and Bomb Bomb in the same set. If you have the bingo card for Peach players ready, you can just cross that one off too. Dude, it's probably already like two lines, dog. <laughs> Almost caught, re caught the Stitch again. Playing a fantastic job, just staying you know, grounded or like in the flow cancel state. Throwing out a lot of forward airs in case Nixie wants to get a little aggressive. 142% for my man. He can't get these conversions to get started. All these, all this damage, like you stated previously, straight hits. That's all it's been. Yeah, how do you even hit this? This is this is wild. Samsora is moving. Oh my God! He the baited out the spot dodge, and he was so confident in that option, he didn't even have a punish ready. How are you that confident? Yeah, you're that confident. He's like, wait, my button didn't come out. Back throw not gonna be enough to get the kill, but this could be an edge guard. Nair, I like it, but he held his jump, and even then, the Falcon dive still not gonna get him back to the stage. Samsora is 63% on this first stock. Nixie, gotta clear out the stock soon, buddy. You ha it's imperative. Yeah, you can tell he's frustrated because, like, oh my god, the down tilts are oh coming out! Oh my god, the god. Twitter video combos, it Yo. doesn't stop either. 67, and that's the life when you play a fast baller against Peach. She has these huge strings that she can get off of these. These safe pokes that that, that down tilt led into 67%. Samsor has mentioned that she gets so much damage off of one and stray hit. Can easily combo it into some big damage, but now Nixie's looking for this potential kill. Gets back here at off stage again. Goes super oh, deep. The gets drop the zone stage spike. What? How many people are expecting Peach to do drop zone dare? Her Not thing is usually much. to stay on the stage or to float at the ledge and then cover the options. But he just went straight down there with the heels. Caught Nixie completely off guard in the process. Catches him before he can catch onto the ledge. Still alive, manages to find his feet back down onto the ground. They're playing a down tilt at this point. Just goes for a Randy Falcon kick just trying to mix up Sam Sora. But it would have killed. Yeah, it would have. It, it doesn't would've. matter. Still got the kill, but two stocks to one, man? I don't know. I don't like to throw on the word explosive, but Falcon is known in, throughout the series being that character that can just make the comebacks happen. If he gets any bit of momentum, he hasn't gotten it to set, but if this is the time that he activates it, he needs dangerous it. things happen. Yeah, it, he definitely needs his momentum to happen right now because Sam Soros, look at the closest out. He's at 88%, can't get the knee. He has yet to land a sweet spot knee. All right, here we go. You're just getting pushed back by these float bears. Sam Soros, again, keeping him at the ledge and not letting him get the center stage at all. The Pokeball is not, has not been in Nixie's favor at all this entire set. We go. I think Samsora uses double jump. Nixie was trying to capitalize on it, but the booty coming out from Samsora really pushed it back. Oh, Catches the that high swing. The Still. Z drop turn up to stop the recovery, and then the and then the, the golf club, and then the SD, yeah. and like all, all of it was planned. But now, even stocks. Nixie off stage at 150. Avoids the turn up, but can't avoid that no. second turn up. And Samsora is going to capitalize. Forward air, you're done. You could just tell the expert gameplay coming out from Samson right there. Like everything was calculated and planned. Especially when every every single time he got Nixie off stage, it was just a struggle for him to try to find his way back down onto the stage. Like right here, it was just like the turnups. Not much Nixie could have done there. I mean, he could have easily backed off and gone for like an upbeat. But then if you know Samson would have guessed that, could have easily predicted it through a turn up a little bit further around. But it was just like every single time I saw Nixie in disadvantage state, he just could not find his bearings. And